What up my freaks, Ruinous and Sight here with part 51 of my Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate Demon Hunters campaign. So as we saw last time, after completing a Bloom Spreader mission, we are now ready to hit up the third Reaper, the Pinkle Reaper, as we've chosen based on the uh, number of seeds, and I accidentally clicked go, but that's just fine, because I was about to do that anyway. Uh, in addition to that, we're about to get our Grandmaster's report, and I also believe, unless I'm mistaken, actually, wait, we can pause for a second from the movement. Pause, okay. Uh, we have to do research. Might as well not waste the time that we take to get there. So let's research you. And also, this actually comes at a pretty interesting time with regards to this Reaper, simply because we just got a patch dropped, which, among other things, has nerfed the... Uh uh, it has nerfed the Gate of Infinity strategy, or stratagem, or rather, which now does a minus one AP to all knights when you use this thing. Which is pretty interesting, and I do think it was necessary. Gate of Infinity was definitely far too powerful, and it's generally speaking poor design when every single person playing this game will pretty much always take Gate of Infinity, with I suppose the exception of if you're constantly bringing a librarian to do it for you. But it's obviously... Uh, it's obviously a little bit too strong, and some things should be balanced out to be a little bit more even. Hopefully this is uh, a little bit better, though I still think at 1 AP, considering movement costs, unless you're in an all-range team, or at least a half-range team, it still will probably be too beneficial not to bring. Now, uh, anything else? Oh, I guess we could give the uh, give this a read. So let's see, mutation level high, 25% per turn, warp surge risk, minus 50, not too bad. I think it was about the same for the other Reapers as well. Uh, we got the Tentaris Strain, which we've read a billion times at this point. And here we go, Munificus the Undying. We have discovered the location of the Greater Chaos Spawn, Munificus the Undying, Reaper of the Tentaris Strain. This creature is constantly evolving and seems to be capable of healing at an astonishing rate. Okay, interesting. Healing at an astonishing rate, eh? Uh, I assume that this, since it's a greater chaos spawn, this works a little bit like the regular chaos spawn work. But I... We've only faced the regular chaos spawn once and it was it just happened, but I'm still a little bit on the fence as to what exactly happened there. Or not on the fence so much as... Uh, I can't quite remember the functions of this. Uh, I believe though in the comments... Uh, there was suggestions to bring a lot of crit to fight this guy, and since that's basically the only thing I have to go on, that's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, otherwise, there's not much else to go but to continue to our Grandmaster's report, so let's check that out. Commander, I bring troubling news. Don't you always, Kai? The Inquisitorial Research Expedition was afflicted with a psychic mucoid infection while seeking evidence for this Morbus theory. The affliction spread rapidly throughout their ship, and by the time our brothers arrived, it became necessary to purge all hands. A psychic assault on the Inquisition, Grandmaster. We could not have anticipated. At ease, Hector. The damage was contained. I suspect this was not a direct attack but a defensive reaction against their intrusion. In the interest of caution, I am restricting the use of prognosticars in your sector until we can be certain their wards are re-consecrated against further psychic interference. Commander, what say you? I say okie dokie. Unfortunately, prognosticars in that- wait, does that mean they are just completely useless? Uh, wait, so does that take away one of our stratagems for the attack on the Reaper? That would be really unfortunate. Huh. Well, I guess we'll find out. Uh, now, as for the options, we got Undertake a Crusade of Retribution, commit to all glorious deeds for the next six... Okay, so this is basically nothing. This is just nothing, because we always do all the glorious deeds, and I don't see too many situations where we wouldn't take them unless we're in a very bad uh, situation where we couldn't risk trying to complete it. Uh, then send a squad to investigate. Four knights will be unavailable right before the boss. Yeah, that's a good idea. And send this Inquisitor to investigate. Fakir will be unavailable. Not really. It doesn't really matter, but since this is nothing, I'll request more <laughs> resources. This guy's really gonna like that. Uh, why do you always bring us bad news, Kai? Uh, let's see. Uh, well, yeah, this is free, so we'll do this. Good. It is a gesture fitting the sons of Titan. You 
are our burning blade in the dark. Seek out the foe and purge the infection so the enemy fears our wrath. Mark my words, this affront will be met with immediate action. I am sending a strike force of my own brotherhood, the sword bearers, to join you. Together, we will purify the sector and finish this holy work. A fully outfitted strike force will be a tremendous boon. Finally, it seems we will get the support we need. Let us hope it is not too late. Alrighty, well that's just swell. I'm not entirely sure what the strike force means in the context, context rather of the game. Uh, really unfortunate about those prognosticars though. They definitely gotta fix those stratagems though because I think, unless I'm mistaken, that we have the 50% crit one at the end there. Hmm, we'll see. Uh, now, well I guess we just proceed. We'll, we'll figure out what knights to bring later. Although, if it's a Chaos spawn, perhaps we'll want to bring the melee purifier in order to potentially purify it, but also to, uh, to do damage. So I'm thinking that since we need crits, we probably don't want to bring Sparky, do we? I'll think about it. Anyway, research project complete. Uh, precision Bombard. Working with the Dominus, I can now f uh, psychically direct the servitors that control the gun matrix on the ship's underside. Normally, this would be a breach of Adeptus Mechanicus protocol, but your tech priest is commendably forward-thinking. This alliance means that I can now guide the ship's weapons to fire an accurate orbital bombardment through the Bloom's psychic field. Wasn't that swell? Uh, start new research, and next will be... Bloom Excision. Target a blast over Area 4 to purge. Afflict target to lose all mutations. Huh. wonder if that would be useful for this uh, greater Chaos Spawn. Great Chaos Spawn? Something Chaos Spawn. Go. This Reaper tends to the Tentaris strain. The Codex calls it Munificus the Undying. Undying? We shall have to put that title to the test. You sound almost eager, Ektar. I like this new tinge of bloodlust. It makes you sound almost... Human. What? Is that so terrible a thing to contemplate? My augmented genetics are a gift from the Emperor, for I raised a simple human. Oh, simple am I? I should have known where my natural genetics would rank me in your esteem. You accuse me of intolerance? That's plenty ripe coming from you. Intervention. The Astartes and the Inquisition both exist to serve humanity. You are quite right. Inquisitor, you have my apologies. The chapter's training is singularly pragmatic. If I came off crudely, I regret it. No, the fault is mine. Compared to the endless scheming and food licking of the Administratum, your unfailing bluntness is refreshing. Let us move forward, united, and destroy this Reaper. Man, the tension between these two. Seriously, get a room and uh, stop relying on Mama Lunette to, uh, you know, keep you from each other's throats. But, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, I, do, I do like their bickering. It's 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 adorable. Uh, close. Alrighty. So, oh, we got an, we get an Arthesium. Maybe we'll finally get a decent one that isn't tier one game. Uh, although I still think that... Uh, oh. I also really want a librarian, but that's not going to happen as a game. Uh, I also really think that the, uh, once again, all rewards for a Reaper fight should really be tier 3. They really, really should. I mean, it's a danger level extreme, you'd think we'd get some better armory rewards for that, you know what I mean? Anyway, I guess here we go. Uh, there's no glorious deed on these, is there? Alright, start. Yeah, okay. Uh, stratagems. Stratagems. I got worried for a second. Uh, let's replace you, Willpower, with Strength of Spirit. Why? I'm thinking that it's unlikely that we'll need Willpower, because the... Uh-huh. The extra use of Willpower would... Hmm. Yeah, no, it's unlikely. It's unlikely we'll need it, because... One or two turns is how long it's taken us to destroy these guys in the past, and I don't imagine, or at least I don't think, that that should change. So we'll keep these three. We'll keep Gate of Infinity, because we might still need to close the gap, though. All right, go back. And as for who we're bringing, Rugen, uh, Jirovorn the Purifier, though I might take away your sword. Hmm, Bajor Harn the Apothecary, and Tauros Varn the Chaplain. Well, first of all, do we need the, the chaplain for this? Stand ready. Uh, 
You can choose which of our brothers would join. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. We know, we know that one. Uh, let us take Jiro Storm, because sure. he hits really, really hard. Yeah. Then... Hmm... You know what we really lacked last time we did these? We really lacked a... I mean, we don't bring the Apothecary. I'm thinking, what if we replace the Apothecary with a Interceptor? Arellis. Arellis in particular. And then... Hmm... Wait. Now we should probably bring you for that Purify, for that uh, Cleansing Flame. Rugen, your 45% crit is not that great. If we need to rely on crits here, as you guys have mentioned, 55%, 80%, you're you're just a, you're just a ball of crit. Oh, you know what we could do? You know what? Oh, Rugen, you can cover a lot of distance with your range, but it's not going to be as much as your... No, wait, we need to bring Rugen for the disrupt shot. Either we bring the Apothecary or we bring him. We probably want to bring you for that Purify, though your chance to crit isn't as great. I was thinking we bring... Uh, Iolanthus, but I think if we want to bring the Interceptor, then perhaps not. Also, you have 80% crit, whereas you have lower. You know what? I think we maybe want to swap out Cantu's Vambrace between these two. Because you get the extra AP, and honestly, that feels like you're probably going to do more damage with it. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Loadout, armor type, power armor, uh, Cantu's Vambrace reassigned to you. Sorry, Vorn, but you're still coming. Actually, speaking of Vorn, the Stoic Blade, I believe, has, what, 30% base crit or 35? Let me just double check here. Four Swords, Stoic Blade, plus one damage to this melee attack. Crit, this weapon has 25% crit. We had another Falchion set. Uh, first of all, you... Wait, no. Uh, you have a... The Force Strike gives you basically a guaranteed crit. What about you? Armor Pierce and 30% crit. You know what? If crits are the way to go, we will take Conviction. It is a slightly weaker version than Ogun's Edict. I want to try Thorn of Demos on you another time, though. Perhaps we'll do that in a uh, later battle. And also, wait, which, uh, which armor do we give you? Curse of Sacrifice gives you an extra 20% focus. I'm not sure you can benefit from it, though. Uh, you can get Soul Blaze. Uh, well, I suppose if we use Cleansing Flame on those mutations, that would help. Unstoppable Conflagration, which would work with the... Uh, uh, hmm. Conflagration works with Force Strike. But it is also... Auto, 100%, 3 per turn, but it's all it's at 100%, so we don't get any benefit from any focus on you at all. Yeah, so you don't need focus, therefore, we don't have to give you that armor. Loadout, armor, power armor. What about this? Heart of, okay, not Heart of Flame. Oh, I guess it'll make the grenades more useful. Uh, this one gives you one armor, this one gives you servo skulls. Honestly, maybe you hold Curious of Sacrifice for now just because... There's nothing else we can give you here, is there? Yeah, we lack basic power armor. Fine, fine, fine. Hold this for now, and we'll, we'll figure it out later. Might have to swap these around a little bit more. Honestly, maybe I should have just put those back, because you still benefit from Contu's Vambrace, whereas you still benefit from... Ah, uh, you still benefit from Focus. The 20% Focus, because you actually have a lot of uses for it, whereas the other guy does not. Damn it! Alright, fine. Fine. I'm gonna put those back to where they were. I guess I might have had a reason to do that as I had before. So now you have Curious of Sacrifice, and then we'll give Contu's Vambrace back to you. Loadout. Armor type. Right here. Sorry about all the uh, admin, but, you know, free Reaper seems necessary. All right, so you two. We got two Falchion Carriers. We got Jiro Storm the Pally, and we got Rugen here for a decent amount of crit, as well as the Disrupt Shot. Yeah, I think that's probably as good as it's gonna get. Wait, what's what's your... Th oh, no, you're carrying the thing that's giving you an extra equipment slot. And I don't think we need to switch anything else out. Unless I'm mistaken. Alright, so I guess this is what we're going with. Let's start, and let's see if we can pull it off. Only one Termi, as weird as that seems.
But hey, unlike the last Reaper where it kept summoning those stupid idols and stuff that we couldn't reach, now we have a teleporter and we have, well, we have Rugen to uh, range it from a distance. We have the Purify on our melee purifier in order to get rid of the mutations on the Chaos spawn. I think we're good. At least I hope so. Let's find out. Ooh, it looks cool. This creature, it is Munificus. Confirmed. Designation Chaos Spawn. That is no Chaos Spawn I have ever encountered. Analysis. No apparent defensive systems. Is it possible this Reaper was somehow stillborn? Brothers, be wary as you approach. Alrighty, let's see what it can actually do. Uh, so first of all, it's active. It's a maneuvering leap. Munificus can move up to 50 in range. Well, if we give it the option, it looks really cool. I think I like him more than the uh, than the other uh, Reapers in terms of appearance. Well, I guess they kind of look like basic, uh, uh, like basic red unclean ones. And anyway, mutate. Gain an additional random mutation. Okay, those are actives, if it can get to using them. Passives, which means these things we can't do anything to because they're not autos. Immunity to afflictions, immunity to bleed, blinded, crazed, dominated, enraged, panicked, plagued, knockback, banished, and purge. What? Wait, this thing is immune to purge? So it has a ton of free mutations that we can't do anything to? Uh, well, that's not good. Okay, so we just... Ugh. I brought our melee purifier specifically for the purpose of purging you. Well, that's a waste. Okay. Annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, Bloom Haze. When crit, Munificus's body drops a hazard over Area 3, summoning a random Bloom Spawn. Hazard Afflict Plague. Okay. Annoying, but what can you do? After he is attacked, Munificus automatically heals 100% of his HP. Eh? Uh, am, I, am I misunderstanding something? Munificus removes all afflictions and loses minus seven max health when the target point is just... Oh, oh, okay, so that's why you guys told me to bring crits. I see, I see. So you damage him by taking out his points, uh, like blowing off limbs and stuff. Oh, that's a cute little limb. Uh, rather than actually damaging his HP. Oh, well, that makes sense, considering he only has 54 HP. Otherwise, one of our knights could kill him with the greatest of ease. Alrighty, now the autos. Reflexive leap. When crit, Munificus leaps up to 15 range, causing a blasted area 2. Triggers Vile Spray. Okay. Uh, won't happen if we disrupt shot. Uh, parry when the student is hit by a melee attack. Yeah, we know what parry does, 25%. Auto tail snap. When an enemy moves adjacent to Munificus' tail, it has a 100% chance to strike automatically. Cute. Cute. And then... Wow, it has a lot of options, though. I guess every single one of its uh, little uh, mutated pieces gives it an extra attack. Well, I guess we'll be blowing all of these off, so it won't matter. Yeah, a bunch of, bunch of different blast and area attacks, though, but it makes sense for a boss. Alright, fair enough. I don't think we need to read those. Uh, let's begin, first of all, by using... Yeah, plus two uses. Now, the thing that we... Okay, we only need to use you once, and we only need to use you once. So let's start off by using Quicksilver. We'll put it on... Uh, I cannot tell who's who. Purifier, Interceptor. Okay, Interceptor, you need the extra points. Right here. There we go. Why the Interceptor? It has 100% crit. Then 453... Uh, you do a lot of damage, but your crit isn't as good as these two, actually. Maybe I could have gone for another Demon Hammer. So in that light, perhaps we give even more Quicksilver to you. Or we could spread it around a little bit. You know what, let's spread it around. The Quicksilver is... Yeah, just spread the love. I'm also thinking that you can regain action points better. Then... Now that we don't have the free uses, we Gate of Infinity close to you. Uh, do we need any buffs? No, we don't have any buffers. Right, let's say here. Confirm. And then we lose one AP on everybody. We're doing that. It's definitely a necessary so nerf, I gotta say. Uh, then Standing you, begin ready. with a Disrupt Shot. Super necessary. For Titan. The beast exhibits instantaneous regeneration. 
All right, neat. So yeah, we do no damage that way. All righty, now you. What's your crit percentage? 55 and at four strike, 55. Yeah, ooh, wow. Even you're going to be relatively useless. It'll be up to these two. My blade huh. uh, All righty, and since purge is useless, which does, I still find kind of dumb, but whatever. Uh, let's attack. Wait, is that a bloom spawn? No, there's one right here. All right, let's attack. 80% crit versus 120. Wait, 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 wait. Let's make it 100, 100. Uh, strength of Spirit. almost forgot about that. Ooh, but with Strength of Spirit, you will also be critting for 100%. Unleash yes? Me. Yes, okay. So you'll all be critting at 100%. Good. Confirm. Vengeance! And stun or disable stuff? I don't know whether it matters or not. These do more damage either way. I'll just go for it. Update. The limb has transformed into pure bloom essence. Brothers, watch out for those bloom spawn. All right, so as we read, it spawns bloom spawn and hazard on the yes, ground. Let's on, also yes. spread the love by having different units attack. You have 100% crit, and the four strike does nothing because extra crit damage won't matter. Oh. Therefore, let's keep destroying pieces. Another one. Oh, wow, this is probably really going to get really gross by the time we manage to actually kill this no. thing. Uh, you attack. Don't bother force striking because you're at 130% crit. I guess to be fair, pretty much any melee unit we would have brought would have given, would have given us 100% crit, wouldn't it have? And you're plagued, and now I guess you can attack again. Confirm. Stun now. Brothers, ready your blades and strike. All right, now what will this do? Nah, just attack again. You regained your AP. Confirm. Minus two max HP, and that's all you got. Okay, fine. Okay, so, so far it's lost its head and a bunch of stuff. Huh, but we've now destroyed all points. Oh, wait, but I believe there's a positioning thing. I believe somebody said that uh, depending on where you're located, you can hit it from, you can destroy different things. So, we are going to use, huh. Teleport strike, teleport strike can crit, but it probably can't, uh, you know, just use regular teleport, I think. We can't run around it, right? I mean, we can, but will we go through this way? Aren't you immune to hazards? Me. Yeah, you're immune to hazards. Move yourself here, and let's see if this changes. Uh, don't force strike. Let's see if this Feel works. the bite of my sword. Ah, yes, okay. Uh, now disable, I don't know, needler, mucus launcher. Wait, can we disable that tail? I don't know. The Reaper appears unable to regenerate its limbs. You hear that, brothers? Press the advantage. Destroy this monster. Alrighty, I really like this boss fight so far. I really love how this boss is essentially, like, modular, right? Like, you destroy its components. And I know that we do that with other units in the, uh, in the game, but just by virtue of the fact that it's a bigger unit and it has a lot more pieces, it's pretty cool. Face me! Uh, let's go... Jacked up. I don't, I don't think it matters. 17, so we need to destroy, I think, three more and we're good. Mutate? Uh-oh. I'll watch it be, like, Harden or something. I do find it silly that we can't purify the thing. But I guess it's since it's not- it's not really using regular mutations. It's, it's, it's using mutations that are, like, you know, body parts. It's not, like, mutations that are, like, buffs to it. Nah, yeah, alright, keep going, keep going. Uh, attack. Mucus launcher. We're just slicing this thing apart. And then one more time should do it. Wow, I think I overprepared with the, uh, uh, with all the stuff. This will destroy it, yes? No, we got one more. Oh, but it'll need to be stunned. You're out of AP, so I think it's your turn. Confirm. Let's do stun. Which will kill it? Yes, it will. No, it won't. Yes, it will. <laughs> the the HP wasn't there. was an unworthy epithet. Well done, Commander. The celebration can come later, Purifier. We must recover that prime seed. Concordance. Extraction process initiated. Damn, you know what I should have done? I should have grabbed that, uh... That seed. But anyway, victory, victory. And it turned out to be a fairly easy boss. Uh, I feel like they... Hmm. I mean, we probably could have taken on twice as much a... 
considering the three uses of Quicksilver is just such a huge boon here. Plus the 50% crit essentially makes any melee unit a uh, guaranteed hit. Huh. I didn't really try Rugen, but now that I'm now that I'm thinking about it, would Rugen have been useful here? If he outside of Arcane Aim, damn! I sh now I wish I had tried. What happens outside of Arcane Aim with with your crits? You don't actually destroy body parts, do you? Or maybe you do. I can't believe I've been playing so long and now I'm blanking on this. Well, we'll try it in the next mission. I guess that's an excuse to bring Rugen. Good job, boys. I like, how the, I like how when they teleport, they're posing with their swords. <laughs> or rather, they're just standing there normally. Uh, actually, how do they even sheathe falchions? Can they do so? I assume that they have a magnetic thing at their sides. Those falchions are pretty big, though. But anyway, continue. Well, let's see about that Narthesium, shall we? Uh, target knight, afflicted target. Ah, oh, garbage. Garbage. I mean, not garbage, but, you know, not as good as the uh, anti-mutation thing. Your resistance armor, trash. Another range... Uh, another another high range... Uh, bolter... Yeah, this isn't as... I think ours is actually better. And yeah, plus 15 range is pretty crazy on a bolter, don't get me wrong. I just don't see the need for it. We have better ones. This one, crit damage. Do we take it just because? I mean, it bothers me that we have so much... Oh, and it's a useless Seeker Skull. You know, it's gonna bother me unless I take something, even though we will never use it. We now have more of these bolters than we need. But... You know what, I'm never gonna use them. No, no. No reward. Ah. Uh, alrighty, is there another cutscene after this? Reaper is dust, and a third strain grinds to a halt. Our crusade goes well. What say you, Inquisitor? Yes, a fine victory. Yes, I will await your next request to attune the Codex. Are you not well? I'm fine, yes. Simply weary from the last ritual. If I am needed, I will be in the Libris, attending to my work. Such a victory should have pleased him. Inconclusive. Emotions are inscrutable. The recent biodiagnostics have all passed. She listens to the warp's whispers day and night. Such communion takes a toll on the mortal mind. We will need to keep a close eye on her. I love Lunette's eyebrow raise there. Also, I found it funny. <laughs> Vakir looks like a complete zombie, and he's like, Are you not well? <laughs> Oh, man. Alrighty, well, there we are with the third Reaper. Uh, quest complete, all glorious D. Yeah, thanks. We'll, uh, we'll deal with that. Now, research menu. We have... How many will these take? All right, seven days. Do we want to complete these? Do a couple more missions? Yeah, I probably will. Alrighty. Uh, you know what? Since that battle was fairly short, I guess we can take some time to talk to a few of them, see about their reactions. I'm gonna go with Lunette first, though. The edicts of machine spirits are silent. Ah, here we go. Do your diagnostics on the Inquisitor show any sign of taint? It is factual to say that she is under duress. I am no Magos Biologist, but it is factual to say that she is under duress. Her heart rate is dramatically increased and her brain flares, sparking like an old Vox unit. Huh, that's, that's a pretty poetic description. Uh, however, as far as I can sense, the sh that she remains free of corruption at this moment. We have been waylaid here for a long time. What? My logistician choir has been cogitating methods to gain ongoing supplies. We have garnered some unconventional options. What do you propose? The choir has pinpointed two likely inquisitorial enclaves in neighboring sectors. 
We can requisition additional ordnance to maintain a certain level of functionality while we pursue this mission. Are they close enough for astropaths? In theory. Although, only the Omnissiah knows if they will listen. I will need to speak with Inquisitor Vakir and insist she provide us with Inquisitorial level waivers to ensure they heed our request. Boxes and we are not constructing anything, so I believe that's it for you. And we will continue not constructing anything because there is nothing to construct. Actually, while we're here, let's double check that we can't get... Uh, can't get anybody interesting here. Another apothecary. Yeah, that's not gonna help. Really would I really would like them to rework this so we can get uh, librarians. Damn it. Okay, Vakir, what do you gotta say? Can I help you, Commander? A third Reaper cast back into the warp. And yet, I feel uneasy instead of jubilant. I felt its grip in the mortal plane shatter. You hesitate when we should rejoice. I have been reprimanded before for following my intuition where facts and evidence had been lacking. Yet my instincts have never failed me, and I have not once faltered in my duty. My performance records are available to scrutinize, should you have the authority to do so. Which you do not. So let me save you all the unpleasant bureaucracy. Uh, huh. Can't we just ask Kai to, ch to check it out? But anyway, elaborate. I have a foreboding sense that something is out of sorts here. Nurgle is vigilant. He would not take to our interference lightly, and yet we have seen scant sign of any effort to intervene in our mission. I don't mean to diminish this victory, but I sense the afflicting eye of the plague god upon us, watching, waiting. To what end? I should not have burdened you with my idle speculations. If I knew, I would have already devised several contingencies to protect us. But, Commander, please put this from your mind. I should not have burdened you with my idle speculations. Yeah, this does not seem like something we should put from our minds. All right. Uh, Inquisitor, this work, it takes a toll on you. We cannot fight chaos without sacrifice. At least you didn't say we cannot fight chaos without chaos. Uh, but anyway, uh, this, the price of duty, Commander. We cannot fight chaos without sacrifice. But do not fret. Even if my body weakens, my mind remains a bastion. I have yet to see you at a devotional service. I give thanks to the Emperor, but I do it my way. That is the trouble with you, Astartes. You see things only in terms of right or wrong. Binary, like the tech priests. In the Inquisition, we are taught to see the gray between the black and the white. Ah, uh, depends on the faction, but sure. Yes, let us not waste our time. Like, really depends on the faction. But anyway, how do you assess our progress? I see why Brother Ektar Ah, I already have that. Alrighty, uh, lastly, Ektar, let's see what you gotta say, buddy. Yes, Commander. Let us commune to The Inquisitor seems distracted. Fear not, Commander. I shall keep a close eye on her. Oh, I bet you will. All right, attuning the Codex is draining her, taxing her soul. Yet two of these Reapers remain unfettered. She must continue at all costs. If you're not, Commander, I shall keep a close eye on her. If she falters, then I will act. Of course, Commander. All right, and recent performance? Nah, you already said that. Alrighty, well, there we are. Another Reaper out of the way, and I guess no blooms are up. So next episode, we will be traveling to the uh, next... Uh, uh, Death Guard ship, hopefully getting some more free requisition, though at this point we have so much that we don't uh, really need it or haven't needed it thus far. And hopefully the next mission or two will give us some really nice items to actually spend our requisition on. I really would like another one of those uh, equipment uh, armors or possibly a librarian. Come on, game. Just, just, just one, please. Ah, well, I guess we'll have to find out next time, so stay tuned for more Grey Knights. Don't forget to leave a like and comment for your friendly neighborhood heretic. All glory to the algorithm. And thanks for watching.